Phenethylamine plus selegiline, also known as phenethylamine replacement therapy, refers to a highly experimental antidepressant drug combination that appears to have had some attention in psychiatric spaces around the mid-1990s. As the name implies, the treatment involved the combination of the monoamine oxidase B-class inhibitor, selegiline, and the trace amine phenethylamine. Phenethylamine is an endogenous agonist of TAR1 and is the molecule upon which all alpha-methylated phenethylamines, also known as amphetamines, are based. Phenethylamine emerged as a biological correlate for depression around the time when substantial doubt was being cast on the monoamine hypothesis as a fundamental explanation of depression pathophysiology rather than an idiosyncratic symptom. Low PEA levels in urine were correlated with depression symptomology in some early studies, and so a new hypothesis emerged that a deficit in PEA activity could be a common cause of depressive illness. However, direct supplementation of PEA would not prove viable as the drug is extensively metabolized following oral administration, particularly by monoamine oxidase B. Selegiline being a monoamine oxidase B class inhibitor dramatically attenuates the metabolism of phenethylamine, allowing it to reach the blood-brain barrier much more readily. When bioprotected, phenethylamine takes on amphetamine-like characteristics, presumably due to its ability to activate TAR1, a target known to be involved in the releasing agent action of amphetamine. The action of oral phenethylamine is potentiated to such an extreme extent that the drug goes from being largely inactive below the gram level to a potent psychostimulant comparable to moderate doses of amphetamine at only 50 to 60 milligrams. Given the rapidly changing theoretical landscape surrounding depression at the time, the PEA hypothesis was in and out of the zeitgeist rather quickly. Three clinical exploration involving some 46 patients, all of whom were treated with phenethylamine in regimens lasting 3 to 50 weeks. The remission rate produced by phenethylamine ranged from 60 to 80 percent, with all studies reporting a rapid and sustained antidepressant response that did not vary in intensity throughout the trial durations. The authors of one of these studies went on to claim that phenethylamine improved mood as rapidly as amphetamine, but did not produce tolerance or dependence to its effects. It's important to note that none of these studies were controlled and represent preliminary clinical findings that were ultimately never replicated. I find the treatment regimen of these trials to be especially interesting, as given the short duration of action of phenethylamine's psychotropic effects, even in combination with an MAOI, the patients only experienced amphetamine-like effects for less than an hour or a day, yet reported persistent antidepressant efficacy without major side effects. In a way, this treatment regimen is comparable to modern-day ketamine, but on a much shorter time frame. It's unknowable if this was the actual dynamic at play, or if the very obvious and unblinded amphetamine-like effect was what underlied the perceived antidepressant efficacy in these patients.